what's up guys it's mcnulty here welcome back to the channel and we're back in the tavern of legends uh this week so we have two brand new costumes for us to have a look at um and it looks like they've gone with all the a's because we've got Aegir and Eren as the two new costumes and they're also featured alongside costume c -Shat. so let's start off with Aegir so Aegir is of the monk class, obviously an ice hero. He used to be a paladin, which was quite good because you could put him in on your defense teams if you didn't have too much of another option. Maybe not so much nowadays with all the hardcore blue heroes that we've had released. Um, but the monk class is pretty good. Obviously, he has that chance to resist status ailments. He's of the 2018 family as well, so hard to believe it's so long ago now, about five years, but the 2018 Legends family have a bonus for one, two, or three heroes, and the bonus is plus 10%, plus 15%, or plus 20% defense. So pretty decent bonus, um, and the element link for two or more heroes affects all allies as well. Pretty decent, so he's quite defensive there. His costume bonus that he gets is going to be an attack bonus of 3%, a defense bonus of 3%, health bonus of 6%, and mana bonus of 1%. So if you get the costume, you want to level up both sides so that you can take advantage of those bonuses. In terms of the way he looks, I'm... <laughs> I'm not as keen on this one as I am the original. To be fair, the original art was one that I'd loved for for a while now. I think that's a that's an extreme uh, looking hero. Um, he's now gone pretty much ice farmer uh, with some carrots. <laughs> Funnily enough, um, not sure that that's the best sort of weather to grow fruit or vegetables in. Um, but yeah, you know that's what he is now he's he's a farmer now um he's still got a couple of weapons on him but um yeah maybe a bit of a downgrade from the original one i'm not sure so in terms of stats um we're going to look at it without the max power preview first so we've got 653 attack 793 defense so still very defensively built and 1560 health in comparing to his original version it was higher on the defense and lower on the attack stat and very similar in terms of the health so starting off with his old special was icy resilience so all allies shared received damage with each other for three turns they got 35 percent defense for three turns and they healed with a hundred percent of dealt normal damage for three turns so the heal that you got was dependent on the damage that you were dealing pretty decent actually because if you deal damage you're going to heal everybody uh, for a hundred percent of the damage that you're dealing and his element link recovers four percent health for all allies for six turns and the effect can't be dispelled so like i said before he was pretty tanky um, and quite annoying hero I think if you add the costume bonus on and you limit break and add emblems, um, he's going to be even more survivable, but he's not dealing any damage. Now, in terms of the new costume special, it's now called Glacial Resilience, and all allies share received damage with each other for three turns, so no changes there. All allies then get plus 30% defense and a further 5% increase every time they're hit during three turns. So that could go up to a maximum of 45% additional defense. Um, obviously a bit of a change around there in terms of the second part of the special. Also now all allies regenerate 549 HP over three turns so we've got health regeneration rather than healing for a percentage of the damage dealt i'm not sure that that's an upgrade to be fair i do kind of like the fact that you could heal for a percentage of damage dealt um fair enough and the element link remains the same all allies recover f or sorry he recovers four percent health for all ice allies for six turns and this effect can't be dispelled um very very strange that they've done this to be fair i don't think that there's been any kind of significant improvement except potentially in terms of the costume bonus so his old attack you could get up or his old defense now you can get up to over a thousand defense 
um, and nearly 1,800 health. Uh, with the new one, you're going to get 951 defense and 1,862 health. So to be 100% honest, if I was to get this costume, um, I might level the original version and just keep him as he is because I think that the original version is better and it's not often that we've seen that and hopefully we don't see that too much going forwards because the main purpose of a costume is to make the hero better. Um, correct me if you think I'm wrong, but I'm pretty much disappointed in this new costume. I prefer the original one, to be fair. Um, so yeah, he's an, he's an alright hero. He's not going to be a game changer. His special's at average speed. Um, there are so many other good blue heroes, I mean, that do defensive things. You've got Krampus, who's just been re-featured in the Christmas portal again. So, so many people have him. I'm not sure that there's really a big place for Aegir um, in, at the moment. So, a little bit disappointed with that costume. Um, so, moving on. We have Aaron. So, Aaron is also of the 2018 family. He's of the cleric class now. Interesting, uh, as he is a healer. Um, so that actually does fit a little bit better than the monk class for a healer. Um, he's of the 2018 family and we've gone over that bonus so we won't do that again. Um, and he gets the costume bonus which is the same as for Aegir. In terms of stats, if we just switch this off, we're looking at 723 attack, 761 defense and 1444 health. So pretty good, pretty balanced stats across the board for Eren. Um, and in terms of his special, it's Void Shield. So Void Shield is at average speed. And at average speed, he's recovering 43% health for all allies. And he lifts all cleansable status ailments from the caster and nearby and randomly distributes them on enemies. And the element link gives all dark allies plus 5 attack and plus 5 defense for 6 turns. And this effect can't be dispelled. So he's all about the healing. That's a pretty big um, upfront heal. 43% health for all. Um, and then he's doing a little Lady Loki effect where he's lifting cleansable ailments um, and distributing them on enemies. So it's basically a heal and then a cleanse. It would probably be better if we had the cleanse before the heal. Just saying, you can't have everything, but that would have been better. In his old version, he was regenerating health over five turns. That is very, very risky because it can be dispelled. Um, but then the caster and nearby were immune to new ailments for five turns. And that effect can't be dispelled. So would I rather have ailment blocking or, you know, distributing the ailments on all enemies? To be honest, I'd rather have that ailment block. And the cleanse of status ailments from the caster and nearby was happening anyway. He just wasn't distributing the damage on the opposite team. So that, again, a worse costume than the original. The only use that I could see for this costume is if you've got some heroes that you're going up against that are all about uh, dealing status ailment damage, in which case you could use the costume Aaron to distribute that damage amongst the other uh, the other enemies that you're facing um, but I would much much rather have immunity to new status ailments for five turns um, and it seems like that's just an additional bonus on top of what he was already doing so ailment blocking in this day and age is much better than having to cleanse an ailment and I think it always will be to be fair so um, in terms of the new costume the art is crappy. <laughs> Don't like it. Um, so yeah, if you got it, Eren is a good hero, as he is. Um, I would go ahead and level the costume, um, but stick with the original version and just enjoy that ailment protection for five turns, which is undispellable. I think that is a great, great special. Um, so good luck in your summons, guys. If you do decide to summon in this portal, I will not be... I'll only be dropping some free coins, and I did a couple this morning, but I, I'll do a couple when I finish the event, but that's about it. So I wish you guys all the best in your summons. Um, if you do get anyone, I would 
cross my fingers for Erin or C-Shat. She's also great. Um, but please drop us a like and subscribe if you found the video helpful. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now. Thank you.